Hey gamers, Usual Uploader here. Today I am going to show you how to install Windows Emulator on your mobile and play PC games. I will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide from installing the emulator, adding games, configuring the settings to make those games perform well. So stay with me and let's start. First things first, you have to download an emulator. This time, there are two emulators in the emulation community which are very famous and are maintained regularly by the developers. The first one is WinLater and the second one is GameHub. Both of them emulate Windows on our mobile and give almost the same results. In this video, we'll be going with GameHub Emulator. So first of all, go to Google and search for GameHub Emulator. Open the first website and hit download. After downloading, install it. Now come to the games. How can we put games in this? There are two ways. First one, download a game with setup, install it through your PC, and copy all the files to your mobile's directory download folder. Or just download a pre-installed game from Chrome. You have to dig it out on your own. For this video, I am using a game, Crisis 2 Maximum Edition. After placing all the files to your mobile's download folder, go to Game Hub and sign in with your Gmail. I have already signed in. Scroll to the end and hit Import PC Games. And then go to the folder where you just placed the game files and look for the .exe file with the game name. Select the .exe file and hit OK. Now, some games are already discovered by the Game Hub emulator, and it assigns the best settings for your device automatically. If it assigns automatically, just start your game. And if not, let's look through the settings. First of all, click the Game Settings button. Here, you can select the game's resolution. Put it on low if you have a low-end device to gain maximum performance, but the resolution of the game will be reduced. I will go with the 720p resolution. Don't touch any other setting in this tab. Now go to compatibility. These are the wines. You should select wine 9.5 as it is default and will work with most of the games. And if your game crashes, go with Proton. Also, some games don't work with wine or Proton but run with Proton ARM 64. You have to select them one by one and test your game. Whichever works for the game, go with it. I am going with Proton 9.0. After this, go to compatibility settings. These are the most important settings, and only these settings can make a game run and fix errors. First of all, go with the performance preset, as it will give the maximum performance for a game, but the chances of errors will be maximum. If your game crashes, then go with the normal fast or common preset. You have to check these layers one by one too, some games work with performance preset or some with normal or common. I am selecting normal preset so the game will have minimum chances of errors. After selecting the preset, go to drivers. If you have a mobile with a Snapdragon chipset, go with the turnip drivers, as these are made only for Snapdragon chips. And if you have any other GPUs, then try to go with Adreno or System Driver. For Snapdragon 8 Elite chipsets, Select the latest 8 Elite driver. After selecting the turnip driver, go to the Box 64 settings. Box 0.35 is the latest, but it supports less games and some big titles like Assassin's Creed Origins. You can try it, but I prefer to go with 0.32 as it supports many games. After selecting Box 64, go to Input Mapping and activate it if you wish to play the game with on-screen touch controls. You can also use a physical controller or keyboard and mouse. Now let's start our game. In the side panel, you can enable frame limit to lock frames. This will consume less power of your mobile and your mobile doesn't heat quickly. As you can see, the game is running, and I can play it smoothly on my mobile. Follow my channel for more gameplays on emulators and more related content. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. 
Thank you.